Welcome back, guys. You can see the motor behind me. Look at how was that for a finger flip? Boom, right there. In the, that's going to be a thumbnail. Hold on one second. Awesome. Okay, we, uh, we have some parts um, that I showed you on the last video, but today I'm using the tool to decompress the valve springs in the heads. And I got it done on one of them. So before I put the camera on, I wanted to make sure I know how to explain this properly and uh, show you exactly what I was doing uh, to remove the valve springs, the guides, and the keepers. Very important. I'm going to show you here in a minute when I flip you guys around. Hold on. Stay okay, tuned. let me get you nice and close in here. So this is the tool. I'm going to leave a link in the description from Amazon so you guys can pick this tool up. Took me 10 minutes. Uh, I lied. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, probably about 10 minutes to figure this out. I thought I had this plate upside down. I thought these guide plates were to push down on the guide plate. I thought you know, like these grooves right here were meant to do that. They're not. This is exactly how you're supposed to have this thing set up. Two bolts, two washers. There's a space underneath that go right in here. So they bolt right where the rocker arms go, the whole rocker arm assembly. And then that bolt has nothing to do with it. And then this bolt, it gave me a spare one, I guess. I can't find it. Where is it? I don't know. It's somewhere. Oh, right here, right here. So they gave me a spare bolt and an extra nut. Um, so this is threaded down. You see where I got that? Pretty close. I'm probably, next next set, and I'll show you guys, I'll do it, is I'm going to push this bolt up a little higher. But right now, all I did was use this little pen magnet and these keepers. And be careful. Nobody explains this on YouTube. If you look at these things, see how you got the uh, a bigger side? It's probably self-explanatory and it's probably stupid. But for people that are doing this for the first time, like myself, they're tapered. Okay? So you have... The bigger side, and then you have a smaller side. See, it's like a wedge. And then there is a lip that catches the top of the valve. See that little see that little ridge right there? So that lip right there will lock into place. But you have to have a magnet. I think a magnet helps. Take those right out of there. When uh, you decompress the springs, sorry, way too close. So when you decompress the springs, you come down. It, it pops down on here, and you take the little, two little keepers out. And while I have you guys here live, we're going to back this off and then that'll release the springs there you go she's all the way take the nut off and boom watch out for the washer probably going to replace the washers after i do it so then right here you're going to want to keep these you're going to need these these little guides and then you take the honeycomb out. And then right down there is the seat. We're going to change those out too. That's the, um, that is the, uh, the gasket, not the gasket. It's the seal. That's the seat seal on both sides. So we're going to do that. I got to sit you guys up so I can use two hands. Right now I'm holding on to the tripod. So hold on. Let me get you guys set up. All right. I hope you guys can see. Um, I think you can. All right, cool. I can see it. So anyways, it's all, uh, what do we got here? Chinese, Japanese, 14 millimeter for all the bolts. And like I said, I, I try I didn't YouTube this, uh, how to use this tool, but all I did is went on Amazon, and then I, uh, I went on Amazon and just kind of looked at the tool, how it was set up, and uh, I kind of went from there and figured it out on my own. But um, so this little spacer goes in here. That's billet aluminum. The rest of this is cast iron, so that's just like a little spacer underneath here, the one I got my thumb on right now. And actually, I'm going to run this bolt all the way up um, for the next one. Let me just set this up. Let's let's get this uh let's get this put in place so I can show you exactly under. So you're gonna hold that in place, both washers. We'll go to the next set right now. We'll do it. We'll do it live. Well, it's not really live. This is pre-recorded. Obviously, you're watching this damn video. So, like I said, if you're a first time doing this, which I am, um, this is a I think this is a import, very important step to keep. Uh, those are out of screen. Hold on. Let me tilt you down a little. Boom slide this over so anyways so those keepers those are going to be reused these are going bye bye and then we're going to change these two seats out i think i can potentially pull them out not going to get a pair of pliers on them maybe some wd-40 exhaust and intake valves all right let's um let's get this tool centered in between the two springs i'm going to uh just enough to fetch them up that's all the way up so take your take your um, 
it's basically a C clamp. It's a clamp, but this is facing up, not the indentations. This is what you want flat down. And it is orientated, the steel plate down here. There's an angle where the bolt comes out. So keep that in mind when you're, when you're uh, assembling this because it comes in three different bags. So then come down here. Like I said, this is just a uh, quarter inch impact. I'm not using a 3H drive. Um, still, it's got quite a bit of power. And make sure these are centered so you can still get these, uh, these keepers out. And I'm coming down real slow. As you can hear the gun watching everything. starting to shake now you can hear the tone in the gun if you go slow you can hear it change one sometimes they're sticky i might have to go down just a little bit more that one's still stuck like i said i don't want to compress this any more than i need to so like i said i'm just going nice and easy that's out I'm trying to spin this to the front there it goes boom all four keepers are out now, come down here, back off nice and easy. Get your fingers out of there, just in case, because there is a lot of pressure on these springs. There we go. And that's one all the way done. Take this nut right off. Boom, boom. Keep these, and I'm just going to line them up where they go in orientation with themselves and there we go we're going to replace all the uh all the springs and i'm going to do this for all of them on this head and the other head all right so also we're going to get that done on that head i'm going to grab the other head over there we're going to bang that out and then also let me flip you guys around and uh we'll go down on the ground and i'll show you what came in okay so open this up we got the whole engine gasket kit we got the timing cover seal. They got the rear main seal. We have intake gaskets. We have exhaust gaskets. We have the valley cover gasket. We have front manifold gaskets. We have the oil pan gasket. We have valve cover gaskets and all sorts of stuff. And actually, I got another set of these. I'm gonna see which ones are in better shape. I guarantee they're identical. They're in the uh, camshaft box over there where we saw in the last video. Um, so we'll see which ones are better, but they're probably just the same exact ones. How many people do you, how, how many companies really make these? They're probably all the same. I shopped around for this one. I did some research. These are, um, I'll leave a link in the description too, where I got these off Amazon. These are not felt pro, but these are steel and the head gaskets. Where's one of them right here? No, that's timing cover. So these head gaskets right here are multi-layered, I believe. Um, yeah, there's two layers and they got that, that rubber membrane in here. So they are marked. They're, they're not felt pro, but they're, um, I think they're MLM. I could be wrong. I'll, I'll leave a uh, link in the description, but that whole gasket kit came. So that's really cool. So now I can start putting that thing together. Oh yeah. Oh, the bucket of despair. All right, guys, uh, we'll cut this video, get it done. Wanted to show you the new, uh, gasket kit. And also I wanted to show you how I'm using that, um, that clamp to take out the valve springs. Um, so if you kind of do it that way, go nice and easy. You don't have to use a quarter inch impact. You could do it all by hand if you feel safer, um, if you feel like you have more uh, more control over it, which you do. But uh, this is just going to speed up the process. And I think what I'm going to do is spray down the uh, the threads on it, kind of like a ball joint press. I think I'm going to use some uh, white grease or something like that every time I come up and down just to keep those threads lubricated because there's a lot of heat there, a lot of friction when it's pushing down on those springs. But... If you guys like the video and you want to see more videos of that motor coming up, stay tuned. Uh, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any videos. Um, we're going to start tearing into it and putting the parts in it shortly. I still want to figure out what color I want to paint the block. I got a few options, and uh, I'd love to hear a com your comments, guys, your, your information on that if you guys want to see a certain color. But it's got to be like a high heat paint enamel because um, it's got to hold up to the heat of the motor, you know. So we got to, well, whatever, we'll figure that out. But uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already if you want to, if you like this shit. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.